It's a CH Saturday. My man, John Serino, back with us. CH Saturday is, of course, brought to you by CH Insurance. They're in your corner every day, every way. In fact, they've been in your corner for 25 years and counting. And you can find out more on the website at chinsurance.cc. We're talking personal and commercial insurance, the group benefits, and more. John, welcome back. It's an important week again to piggyback off of last week. We have to worry about Central New York tornadoes now. We talked last week about it. Never imagining we get another one this week in poor Rome, New York. Welcome in, man, and prayers for our folks in Rome, man. Uh, yes. Good morning, Michael. Uh, yeah, really, um, it, it's just a devastating situation down in uh, in the Rome area. Um, you know, we we certainly do send prayers and uh, you know the best to uh, all those folks down there. Um, yeah, we've had, uh, we were, we've been busy. We've been busy the last, uh, 48, 48 hours or so with, uh, taking a lot of calls, uh, from clients, um, that, you know, have, uh, suffered some, some damages to their home or property with trees down and, uh, you know, property damage with the, with the, you know, autos, uh, just, uh, yeah, just devastating. So we talked a little bit last week about, you know, what to do, right? So why wait for the tornado? Why wait for the big storm? Why wait for the, you like, you have to get ahead right in the policy and all this. So not, now that this has happened two weeks in a row, is there anything that you can shine on here? Anything that you can add to, you know, the before and the after, obviously during, you can't do anything, but before and after uh, policy checks are huge. Like, is there anything that you can kind of lay on, lay on top of what we talked about last week? Yeah. So Look, I, I, the, the one important thing that I would say is that you, on an annual basis, at the time of a renewal, yeah. you know, you should meet with your agent and, and, you know, have your agent bring you through scenarios. What if this happens? What if that happens? Am I covered? Do I have the proper limit? Right. And, and, and you need to, you need to play out scenarios. That's, um, it's hard to predict what's going to happen. You're not going to be able to predict it. But, you know, when you meet with him or her, um, have ask the questions, you know, play play out the worst case scenario and, and, and see, OK, if it happens, what what am I covered for? What will I what can I anticipate on on possibly receiving? Um, how do I survive? How do I how do I rebuild? You know, there's just a lot of different information and you got to make sure that th those coverages are, are sitting on your policy. Yeah. And it's crazy, too, right? Because you'd think of like tornado. Well, it's so much more serious than just auto insurance or it's more serious than this. But the thinking for the customer should always be the same. You just mentioned the annual, meaning you got to look at everything anyway. You got to look at this, right? The philosophy yeah, is the same. Correct. Correct. One hundred percent. I mean, you know, now after it happens, it's like you said, it's too late. Yeah. So take the half hour, meet with your agent, go through your policy and go through the limits. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it could be affecting you know, water with flood. You know, your basement gets flooded. Is that covered Ooh. during a situation like yeah. this? Yeah. Typically, if you if that, you know, that if if that's deemed a flood and you don't carry a flood policy. Yeah, you, you, you got to be creative on on maybe how we how a claim is reported, but it's typically that's not going to be covered if you don't have a flood policy. It's just very you, you, you need to play out the scenarios and and then certainly once it's once it's over. Or once you uh, once you uh, have the devastation like now today, right. uh, you know these clients are all calling us, saying, "Man, I'm glad I talked to you uh, last year, John, because mm -hmm. look what happened. My basements got flooded, and guess what? I have the coverage, right? Um, yeah. Use us. You know, all of our clients use us as a soundboard. They call us, John. What do I do, Joe Junior? What do I do? This is what happened. I got a tree that fell on. So I'm sitting on top of my car or sitting in front of my business. I, yep. I, I can't let my customers into my, into the operation. How do I, you know, I'm going to be shut down for, for a week before we get power. Don't worry. You know, you got to be sympathetic with them and you got to be compassionate and you got to put them at ease. You know, that's their livelihood that is being affected. And uh, so now you got to just talk them through it and, 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 and calm them down. 
everything will be all right. You're going to have business business interruption, you know, for your business. You've got you've got homeowners property coverage for your for that tree that fell against your home and came through your roof. Don't worry, your roof is gone. Well, it'll be replaced. Um, so you, you just got to have empathy at, during this time. And that's, that's the biggest component. And m- the most important thing is get back to the, get back to the client. Don't let, I mean, they leave you a message, get back to them. I mean, they, they just, they're out on an Island by themselves right now. They don't know what to do. They have no, they have no power. They, they can't go anywhere. They're, they're stuck where they are. Um, Get back to them. Communicate with them. That's the biggest thing right now is all about communication. Yeah. And and just to confirm, when you're saying, well, you know, if you didn't look at your policy and the storm happened, oh, it's too late. It's too late for what happened, but it's Correct. not too it's not too late to fix things and to look at the future so it doesn't happen again. That's really what John is alluding to here. Um, that information is all amazing. John Serena with us here on a CH Saturday, of course, in your corner every day every way. And John, before we wrap up, I mean, I don't know what's more beautiful, your face or the background on this camera, <laughs> my man, but um, we all love our golf. It's the final major of the year. Obviously, as we're recording this, times are all over the place. It's the open, a five-hour difference and all that. I'm not going to get into leaderboards. We're not going to get into picks. All we're going to do is just for maybe a minute or two, how cool is the open championship? I mean, honestly, it's probably the number one bucket list thing for me right now. I want to go over there so bad. I don't know if I'd want to pick St. Andrews or the West Coast with Troon and Turnberry. I don't know which one I'd pick. I want to see it. I want to play a few of them. I want to get the wind whipping. I want to feel the rain. I want to get the tide in and out. I want to be in those pop bunkers. I want to shoot a 12 on the postage stamp. Not really, but it's all just amazing. You wake up and play golf. There's nothing like it. It's the easiest and hardest you know, major to win because of all the factors and the unpredictability. The Open is so cool, man. And I know you agree. And by the way, the Claret Jug is Golf Stanley Cup. Are you kidding me? The history, the courses, the layout, the, the unpredictability, waking up and watching, it is the best, dude. The Open is awesome. I think that's the best part. This morning I woke up and I'm sitting on the couch at about 6.30 and yeah. and bam, I'm watching golf. It, and you could have been awesome. doing it at 2 in the morning, by the way. Exactly. If, yeah. if I was up, I probably would have. But, yeah. you know, but it, it, yeah, you're right. It's very cool. And uh, I would love, that's definitely something on my bucket list. You know, I would love to go and just, just to be a spectator. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily have to play it. Uh, I'm not yeah, sure I'd want to play it. Yeah, you um, do. Yeah, you but, do. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. No, you but, do. You need to get you, Joe, me, and somebody else, and we can do like a two-on-two two so we don't have to technically play our own balls and then we can like blame the other person. That'd be probably that. <laughs> We'll play a little scramble. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Although, Joe, you know you can't go over there and play – uh, you know, a challenging course and, and be Joe Jr. and pl- not play your own ball. You know, you, no, Joe has to play your own ball. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. He'd be, he, you know, he'd be, uh, he'd be very competitive. He'd be all that's over it. That's sure. right. Yeah. Yeah. Those courses are challenging. And of course you can't spell challenging without, without CH. That's right. Okay. I had to get that Love one in. Love it. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see how it, uh, how, how it plays out across the pond, but this was a tremendous segment with my man, John Serino, who is my helper at CH Insurance with my insurance plans and policies. I talk with you all the time and we call and text. You got me hooked up. So I know what I have and I've got it all right below here. So uh, really you can great. sleep. You can sleep well at night knowing you're covered, buddy. Yeah. I, I got other issues keeping me from that. Well, but, the but, family yeah. issues I can't help you with there, but you know, I, the kids, I, I can't help you with that, I but know. you can I, sleep I, with the, uh, if yeah. something God forbid was to happen. I hear you. No, I I appreciate that. And and CH Insurance is in your corner. If if they're not in your corner right now, reality is they can be in your corner with a policy. Switch to CH Insurance today at chinsurance.cc. Everything you need, all the policies, personal, commercial. When tornadoes come about, apparently in central New York, we got to worry about them now. Lean on CH Insurance in your corner for 25 years, every day, every way. John Serino, you're the best. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, man. Have a good weekend, Mike.